general tarot reading whenever this finds you is probably when it's made to find you in my personal opinion page of swords really wanting to uh understand partnerships really wanting to understand how to communicate in partnerships with yourself as well as other people learning to uh put the uh group side of things into perspective the humanitarian side of yourself your own idea of how you want to get to certain destinations when it comes to the mental side of things not so much the physical side of things being very logical page of swords is somebody who has a lot to say they may fear what they have to say but they will ultimately say what they have to say queen of pentacles is also out there queen of pentacles we already know is somebody who's pretty generous in their ability their environment as well as their uh financial stability they're very grounded in nature they're very passionate in nature very emotionally fluid in nature very aware of themselves in nature very hard workers in nature when you get the queen of pentacles energy right so with this energy here another page is out so someone just wants to communicate they want to speak on something that maybe makes them feel very um like able to say what they need to say they feel like this is very easy for them to speak on this situation i don't know how to explain it um this could be something to do with like I don't know I don't want to get too much into that but <laughs> I don't want to get too much into that but it could really just be something where it's just like just something that's really uh really strongly passionate in nature okay some people could see people as their forever people and want to like create more than what you can understand with them right so uh like I just want to be real here I don't want to be too like absurd because i'm so sick of these tarot readings where I'm, i see them on like every now and then i'll just like click on tarot readings on youtube and i'm just like what the fuck this is so irresponsible and wrong like you know i don't know so i try to keep this shit as good as i can as like wholehearted as i can but like this could be even someone just being like i feel like we could be a, potentially a good match for um birthing a child and that sounds crazy as fuck but that is what it is i don't know page of wands page of wands there you go you got all three of the air signs at first with the page of swords and now you got all three of the fire signs with the page of wands so really truly thinking this over really truly wanting to let go of the dramatics of things but understanding the curious side of things and understanding the uh the joyful side of things the very sensual side of things again i say the page of wands is someone who's very passionate when they speak i just really feel this need to come together people wanting to come together with you another three man i have the three of pentacles and then also the three of swords is at the bottom of the deck after a long period of betrayal heartache pain trauma struggle going through a lot of things we always get these cards you guys i feel we get the same kind of similar cards for the most part right of always feeling like the universe is giving us what's not true though the universe is like hey what is for you will come for you what's not for you won't won't be there for you it won't even be offered to you okay i promise you even though you might even want to offer it to yourself the universe has a tricky way of making losses making rejections making um these things that we take as failures and putting them in our way so that we can understand why we're not supposed to have them okay so don't fear you know past things becoming future things that's not how it works you can only create that for your own self if you keep having that thought in your own environment right so three pentacles collaboration somebody wanting something long term somebody wanting to get together with you because you have a skill set that nobody else possesses okay so with the six with the i almost wanted to say six of pentacles but it's not the three of pentacles it's really truly gathering information getting new knowledge on things really checking your own reputation your status figuring out what you want to do in the long term when it comes to representing yourself with another um group of people or persons right and then with the three of swords we know this is seventh house in venus so it's betrayal trauma pain grievances like i said it's true it is it's that physical shit that leaves you mentally scarred right it's the physical shit that nobody can see but it's mentally in your mind right and you're like remembering all these terrible things because 
sometimes physical can be audible too. the shit that you hear that other people have no idea is happening in your surroundings the stuff that you have no people other people have no idea has ever happened to you in relationships you know the shit that you keep so deep within you that it's like it leaves you scarred mentally and you have to constantly be working through it so we get to those modes of feeling very stuck within ourselves very self um serving when we get this type of energy of four of cups because we want what we want but we don't want to take what the universe is offering us even if the universe is offering you what you have been asking for because you get stuck in energy like this where we feel like everybody's always competing with us though they are there's always an eye on you there's always someone trying to one up us in this life it is what it is even in conversation i've noticed it sometimes it feels someone's always trying to get something over you you know and it has nothing to do with you this is all about learning lessons through competition learning lessons through struggle learning lessons through um things that are really unfavorable to our mind and to the physical sometimes and having to go through things having to lose things having to, to change and go through conflict and like i said struggle and having to be very patient here with the seven of pentacles and understanding that any type of change that you go through it's for the better it's not going to make you be any different or any similar to what you were yesterday it's going to change you it's going to make you reevaluate yourself reevaluate your own routine with the second house energy of taurus you know really uh truly care for what you have uh endured really care for what you want to get done with this collaboration as well because sometimes when we carry the past energy it can make us fearful of what we're going into when it comes to our present sometimes when we get that we get that into that um that past energy it's really like it can just really like i said before keep us stuck even though we're being pushed around like you could literally be moving and you feel like you're stuck the world card the six of pentacles i just knew the six of pentacles was going to come out don't ask how but you know these things are a mystery to us all and these things are here for us to really try to just be a part of as we as we feel best we can not to immerse ourselves fully in not to get completely lost in not to completely forget the whole idea of us just existing on this planet you know to take it for what it is and to take life's lessons as we learn them to take any of these tools any of these divination um rights as they are for what they are and not to get lost in them and not to take them for an end-all be-all but to really truly understand the generosity that we're given in our lives from the universe in general and that can come in the form of even just the people that we meet the people that we have encountered you know the way we choose to represent ourselves even after struggle even after hardship the way we choose to change our routines after we have been through something that was not comfortable right and being able to do it and keep your reputation keep the keep the generous part of yourself understanding that help is not something that needs to be feared help is not something that needs to be looked down on like you know taking things as they come to you because you deserve them with the world card this is someone who's worked very hard 10th house energy again capricorn energy really dominating here really truly trying to find your way in the world though you have been knocked down many a time i have two more cards to get here and then i'm done you know here we have the ace of pentacles in reverse it is an equal exchange of something new an equal exchange of ideas when it comes to financial stability an equal exchange of ideas when it comes to physically making something happen in the material world okay because it is a card of money it is really truly just trying to be aware of how money can be a part of your existence in a way that's healthy for you as a human being right but it's also being offered to you from the universe so it's just it's just being asked for you to take it as very like open-minded as very like open-hearted as you can you know and i know that shit might sound so cheesy but it makes sense to me you know and then we have the world here it's <laughs> the world i'm done i quit the wheel of fortune <laughs> we did have the world but the wheel of fortune's here too the wheel of fortune something is going to change for us because it has to there is a change that comes for everybody in many times in their life 
I have so many times of change that I have went through where I've learned some crazy ass lessons that I never would have learned if I didn't go through those specific scenarios, man. And sometimes it sucks so much to think about the way we have put ourselves in such strange situations and the way that we have allowed ourselves to move about this planet, you know, but it is what it is. And we have to let go of regret. We have to let go of guilt. You have to let go of any self shame. Okay. Because everybody is judging you already. Okay. The rest of the world is watching you already and judging you, I'm sure, from their own perspective. So why are you going to hurt your own self and judge yourself harshly if you if you allow yourself to be like that? You know, don't allow yourself to be like that. Don't allow yourself to get stuck in any types of thought like that. I felt it for a second there. That that's a reality for somebody out there. But I always say like self-esteem is really important. And I know how it feels to not have high self-esteem and to not feel good about yourself. And we all have those days. And... I still struggle with those days as well, you know, but how we choose to get through them and how we choose to not have those days tomorrow is what's going to make us have a more comfortable time on this planet. OK, don't don't sell yourself short. Just keeping it like that. Just don't sell yourself short, man. Wheel of Fortune really getting something given to you because you've been taking the needed steps and yeah you've been through a lot of pain you've been through a lot of trauma you've learned a lot of lessons here this is a 10 it's a completion a new pattern will start a new cycle will start you are taking a journey here a new journey a journey of understanding yourself a journey of wanting to be a more part of your own collective the part of your own mental well-being and stability and grounding within yourself this is a new opportunity for you. Though I say for you to do these things for yourself, I do know that there is collaboration here. I will say that much. I see it very clearly. Collaboration. Threes. Something has been brewing here. Something has been working its way towards you. And that's how it works. There has to be a clear line of communication with the Page of Swords. Someone has to be in a prime position to receive as they are in the Queen of Pentacles. Someone has to feel the fire, the passion with the Page of Wands. They have to understand that collaboration from the past with the Three of Pentacles as well as the Three of Swords is totally different as well as totally, um, completely different um, wavelengths entirely. Like you won't even... Even if things are the same as they might have felt in the past, it will not affect you in the way you think it will. I promise you that. Rejections and losses and painful things will not hurt you as much as you have allowed them to in the past. I promise you that. You may have even noticed that in certain things in your day-to-day -day life, right? That you may have been emotionally sensitive to before or mentally sensitive to before have not been bothersome to you at all. We've learned from conflict with the Five of Wands. We've learned to be patient with the Seven of Pentacles. We've learned to be vigilant and to be persistent in our efforts as just being the light in the world with the world card. We've learned the generosity as well as curiosity and life in general and fairness and just being decent and being able to receive things and being open to receive things can bring us a lot of balance in our habits with the six of pentacles with the ace of pentacles in reverse we know that sometimes we still may linger on the thought of things are not as we might think they may be especially with the four of cups being there as well the hand gives you what it gives you you are the one who has to be the receiver right the wheel of fortune as well as the fool something is changing a pattern is a new pattern is starting i feel like i say the same shit all the time because it's just the way it works we're constantly shifting through cycles think about the moon it's every 28 days it's going through a new cycle a new phase a new change every fucking few days it changes you know so do we as human beings we do not stay the same my thoughts are ever changing the way i am is ever changing um my perspective is ever changing i i can't even explain it to you but i know that we are learning new things about ourselves as well as other people and we're being very open to new perspectives as well as how to make ourselves happy and how to maintain happiness and how to keep it in our own in our own minds even if we do go through things that are traumatic or stressful or you know these things like i say where people are constantly always just you know it's just like that people just are like that you know in the world it's, it's like that sometimes but being so okay with it that you are just ready to take a new journey and ready to follow your own ideas and your own philosophy but coming together with the people that you need to come together with because you passionately and creatively can 
and there's no lack here in this energy so i really appreciate you so much for watching this i really truly do i hope you got something out of this and i hope you have a lovely one over this fine shoot thank you so much